Ooh, here's a witch. Try me. Okay, let's see what she does. How about a kiss? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely my favorite in the whole place right here. Alright guys, I'm over here in Belden Village in Canton, Ohio. Belden Village in Canton, Ohio for all the people who ask me where I'm at immediately after I've said it. <laughs> We're going to go into Lowe's here and check out what they have for Halloween. They usually have some good like animatronics and uh, inflatables and things like that. We haven't seen inflatables in a lot of places, but I know they have them in here, so let's go check this place out. All right, right off the bat, we got pumpkins. I cannot wait to carve some pumpkins. I usually do like a live pumpkin carving um, on YouTube when it's closer to Halloween, but I'm thinking I'm gonna be carving pumpkins October 1st. All right, let's go check it out. Ooh, I'm excited already, guys. Look at this. I absolutely love that classic Halloween look. Candy corns and skulls and bats and ghosts and pumpkins. Stuff that is not like, you know, totally gory. I mean, I like the gory stuff too, to an extent. You know, I love horror movies and that. But I absolutely love stuff like this. And look at this rug. <laughs> I think it's a rug. No, it's a wall decoration. It's like, uh, what do you call that? Not foam, felt. That's pretty cool. Look how big it is, it's huge. I love that. All right, I'm seeing some cool inflatables and things already, but I also noticed this giant basket of pumpkins here. These aren't necessarily blow molds. I mean, you th I think you could probably categorize them as blow molds. But uh, but these are just the ones that are already, they're plastic, they're carved. You plug them in and they got a light inside. These are pretty cool. Is this one carved? No, this might be one of these carvable ones. I don't know if that is or not. It's not already carved, but it might be one that you can just sit down and take a knife to. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Whirl emotion. Little ghosties. Apparently they project onto the house. Oh look, that's got uh, Jack Skellington's too. Let's look at that again. There's a ghost. Come in. Watch. Somewhere there's a Jack. Yeah, there's Jack Skellington's in there. If I would have bothered to look down here, <laughs> I would see that that's exactly what it is. Nightmare Before Christmas Whirl Emotions. It projects it onto your house. That is really cool. A lot of people watching are going to like those because a lot of people ask me to keep an eye out for Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. These are $30 for these. That is really cool. That's probably my favorite projection thing I've ever seen. Okay, this one's working now. Look, this one projects eyes. And those would be huge on your house. That's this one here. It's called Eye Screams. Okay, one of them's green. Okay, they're separate. One of them's green, one of them's red, and those are the two different kinds of eyes. I really like those, too. Look at this pumpkin here. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's not really a Halloween-y thing. But if you're not really into Halloween all that much, that's more of like a Thanksgiving thing. Give thanks. Pretty cool, though. We're gonna get to the inflatables and the uh, animatronics in just a minute here. Cause they are all over the place. They got some awesome ones, but look at this. Hitchcock, the birds. As Adam the Woo would say, Hitchcock would be proud. <laughs> okay, let's see. Skull wreath. Ooh, it lights up. Kind of. Family gathers here. It's more of like a Thanksgiving thing as well as the turkey. He's not spooky. We got this little guy. Lighter jack-o-lantern. Is there a button to push? Hmm. I don't see one. Oh well. Kind of cool anyway. Like a little greeter. A few more Thanksgiving type things over here. And then look, we got a bag of eyeballs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if those glow. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say, but they look like they would glow. 
That's pretty cool. Bugs, little skeletons, everything this year is skeleton everything. What the heck is this? Oh, it's like a bat skeleton. <laughs> what is it? Oh my god, a frog skeleton. I haven't seen that one anywhere. That is too funny. A friggin' frog skeleton. And we got the fish. This is like a piranha skeleton. I wonder why this stuff is is so prevalent this year. I've never seen so many different animal skeletons in uh, in years before. Previous years, I guess you could say. What the heck is this? Guest registry. You have been warned. Turn back before it's too late. Yeah, it's kind of corny, but okay. Okay, one more thing quick, and then we'll get to the good stuff. A lighted candy bowl. Flip the switch. Push the switch. Okay, I see it blink in there. Okay. So in the dark, that would actually... Oh, I see it blinks, and you can change it to solid. So in the dark, I can see where those three little lights would actually light the whole thing up. I like how they have a lot of colors here. Purple, green, orange... I don't see any pink. I've been seeing a lot of pink in uh, Halloween buckets and stuff around, but those are good colors anyway. Look at this. We have a huge pumpkin uh, kind of blow mold. He's pretty giant. And here's a uh, haunted living. Okay, some kind of a ghoul. Floating ghoul. Animated hanging ghost. Uh, there might be one of these set up in here somewhere. Here's some inflatables. We got the giant monster, the Frankenstein. And here's another archway. I like those archways. Oh, look at this one. Monster ambulance. Here's a skeleton. And this is one of those where it has like the little projector, I think, inside where those colors, like the lights move all around. Here's minions. Look, we have some up on top of here. There's the monster ambulance that we just saw. <laughs> Look at the eye spinning around. And then we got the pirate ship. I love pirate stuff. Look at that guy's head turns. That looks like the only animation, though, that goes on with that. But it's still pretty cool. And then we got the spooky tree. You can't go wrong with a Halloween spooky tree. I love that. That's actually one that I would buy. Inflatable Halloween spooky tree. Okay, let's move over here and see what else we got, because I did notice this guy right here. <laughs> Animated werewolf. Ooh, he's got a try me button. Okay, we gotta do it. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, that's pretty simple. But it's kind of cool, though. Look at his mouth going. That's kind of cool. I don't know why is. What the heck is this? Maybe he's... I mean, he appears to be set up right, but... That's kind of cool. I like it. It's kind of a mild thing, you know? It's not like a jump-and-grab scare thing. We got some more stuff up here. This is like a... I don't know what you call these things. I mean, they're animations, but that's a giant spider. I wish we could see that one from the top. That's pretty cool. Those spiders creep me out. Here we got a Jack Skellington inflatable. And he's got Zero with him coming out of the pumpkin there. And we got a big pumpkin here and a spooky tree behind there. I love the spooky trees. Reminds me of uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Oh, here we got a couple of different kinds of inflatables for Nightmare Before Christmas. This one's really cool. He's got Oogie Boogie with him. And then here's this one with the zero that we were just looking at. Here's the animated spooky tree. And here's the spider. That's what he looks like from the top. That's kind of cool. Fog machines, fog juice, lighted eyeball pathway markers. I think that's what those are. Little uh, purple and orange lights. Those might be black, I don't know. 
skeleton's bag of skulls. Look at this giant skull down here. <laughs> Oh my god, that thing's enormous. Might do something too. Oh, yes. I don't know if you guys could understand what he was saying there. But, uh, but that's pretty cool. That's an enormous skull. I wish I had something that I could use to put that skull into perspective there to show you just how huge it is. <laughs> okay, this isn't what I was planning, but look at this thing. It's huge. And it's really heavy, too. Well, look at this, guys. I didn't see this one up here. They've even got the mayor up there. <laughs> He's got a couple of little kids with him. <laughs> That's hilarious. And there's the uh, the one with the oogie boogie. I love that color of green. This is what I love about Halloween, the colors. Green, orange, purples. God, I love Halloween. Okay, there's some more over here. We got some clay pumpkins. Ooh, spooky pillows. Spooky accent pillows, yes. That one's not really spooky, but I like it anyways. I love fall. Spooky skeleton. Ooh, here's a witch. Try me. Okay, let's see what she does. How about a kiss? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> let's do that again. So, you want some treats? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. This is one of my favorite animatronics, guys. I mean, she doesn't do a whole lot, but this is hilarious. <laughs> Let me show you the true face of Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ooh, here's a pumpkin stack. I don't know what that's made of, but it's huge. Plastic. All right, wait a minute, we missed some over here. So, Grim Motion, holy crap. Look at this, this is uh, the Grim Reaper on your house. Let's see if this one works. Yes, look at that, that's what it projects. And then we're gonna find out what the other one is too. Oh! That was pretty cool. Although, if that's all it is, Thunderbolt, that's really cool, but you would definitely need that along with something else to make it really cool. All right, what's this one here? Spooky Storm. Oh, look at that one. There's like a skeleton in vertigo. <laughs> and there's the Spooky Storm. But I love how the other one made the, the thunder sounds. Wait, we missed some inflatables right down here on the end. How did I miss this? Living Projection. Oh, that's the one that when you first walked in, uh, when we first walked in, that I pointed out. So let's go over here and look at that a minute. Apparently this is how it works. This must be the projector here. Okay, it comes with the inflatable. And this is what it projects on. That's kind of cool. I don't know if they have that set up over here or not. Let's go check it out. Well, I guess not, because here's the, the inflatable. And I think, I don't know if that's the same one or not, but I don't see any kind of a projector anywhere around here. Hey, spooky tree. But anyways, I mean, when they do have the projector, that's what it does right there. That's kind of cool. I'd love to see that in motion, actually. Wait, what's this one right here? Cinemotion. Holiday projector. Ooh, okay. All right, hold on a minute. I think we got a little demo here. See the magic in motion this season with Cinemotion. The projector that displays classic oh. holiday scenes or your very own photos or videos. Cinemotion also comes with bonus Halloween yes. content. So that's actually pretty cool. It says it includes 10 Halloween and 10 Christmas. Apparently that's what this is on the back here. And I love Christmas too, but I'm nowhere near ready for it yet. Believe me, when we get to Christmas, we're going to see some Christmas. See, we got a couple more things down here, but... What are these? Oh, I know what these are. Look, it's a pumpkin stand. You carve your pumpkin and you put it on top here. Oh, these are really cool. Look, we got the mummy and the skeleton. And this one is 
I guess like a uh, kind of a scarecrow looking guy. Looks like that's the extent of them, but those are awesome. A couple of these things here to decorate. Oh, and look, it's even more Jack Skellington. <laughs> that's really cool. Just the face. You could take your pumpkin and paint him white if you wanted to and stick that on there. I love that. Okay, let me show you this witch here real quick, and then we got a lot of inflatables to go look at. This is another one of those awesome ones like I showed you that's felt. Look at the colors in there. I love that. Okay, let's go look at some inflatables here. Now, they got these up on top of the things here, so they're kind of difficult to see. Crap, those are really difficult to see up there, or at least to film. Let me do my best, though. Okay, we got a little skeleton with a gravestone, harvest scarecrow, minion, mini, a couple of things down here. What is that? Some kind of a purple cyclops <laughs> and a green witch. Some on the other side, though, that we can see a lot easier than those. Okay, yeah, look at these guys. We can see these a lot better because I got more room to step back. You got an awesome ghost. Look, he's wearing a monocle. <laughs> like the Monopoly guy, even though the Mandela Effect says that never existed. Enter if you dare. That's a pretty cool one up there. I like that. A giant pumpkin. You can't go wrong with that. That thing's probably... I bet that thing's six feet tall. That's pretty huge. Here we got a um, an animated projector spider. Look at his back. How the lights are projecting through his back there. And he's just moving around a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what he does. But he's trying to do something. And then here's our black cat that moves its head. This is pretty cool. Watch this. He moves his head back and forth. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty awesome. And then this one up here is really cool too. I don't know if he's supposed to be animated. But it is a skeleton playing the organ. I was just basically scolded because I asked if I could go up this ladder here to get a better shot. <laughs> the answer was no. I don't even see where you get these things. I mean, I don't see any of them out on the floor in boxes or anything. Look at this one though. From the back, the organ looks like a box of french fries. <laughs> Alright guys, I think, I think that is all the Halloween stuff in here. I mean, that was a good amount for for a store that's not built around selling Halloween. They got a lot of stuff in here. And I love the Oogie Boogie. He's my favorite. Yeah, let's get one more look at him. That is really cool. That's probably my favorite one in here. And I think I might buy one. <laughs>